welcome to civil mania today we'll discuss about the design of slab formwork or horizontal formwork okay first of all what i'm considering is i'm considering a 3 mm thick uh, slab uh, as you see in this front view this is a 300 mm thick slab then the 18 mm plywood i'm using secondary beam and here you can see the primary beams and supported by the props don't consider the dimensions right now this is like for basic understanding i have put after calculation only we will come to know what is the proper dimensions if you see in the plan it's for prop, prop only i have considered like this okay so first i will go for a timber beam details what i consider is is my timber beam if you are considering different timber beam we have to get the values these values might be differ for different timber beams so my timber beam bending moment will be 5 kN meter and shear force will be 11 kN. Please check before using any timber beams, ask the manufacturer for this details, okay. And plywood details are like this. Okay, let's go to the load calculation. First of all, dead load. This 0.3 is nothing but a 300 mm thick slab. So 0.3, then 25 is the RCC density, then plus 1 we are taking because over here, like when we pour the concrete, some little small layer of water will be formed. For safety purpose, we are taking plus 1 as a load for safety, okay. So it will be 0.3 into 26. It will consider 7.8 kN per meter square. So we cannot actually, we cannot predict the actual live load. So what we will do is we will take 20% of the dead load. If it max minimum, it will consider, we will take around 0.9 kN per meter square but here for safety I am considering 20% it is around 1.56 kN okay then for more uh, load it is 0.5 if it is all are like metal type of uh, uh, timber metal type of beams then it this value might be increased okay so the total load will be around 9.86 there we understood the like there we calculated in my previous video we calculated the concrete pressure but now here we are cal calculating the total load so he, this load we'll consider here okay this 9.86 <coughs> so we have the bending moment formula so wl square by 10 so this bending moment value is 0.34 so the we have to calculate length from it so what we'll uh, do is the 9.86 we'll assume uh, put it to the w that 9.86 into L square divided by 10 which is equal to 0.34 so the L value will be around 587 mm okay so like that you have to check for shear force shear force the formula will be 5 by 8 into WL so the value of shear force will be 5.54 so if you put this same 9.86 W value then you will get the 898 mm okay same as for uh, deflection calculate this one then you will get the length of the deflection so you got the three lengths in that you have to choose the minimum because in the minimum three uh, cases we need to sustain okay so in this three minimum i will consider 4, 480 mm so you might consider less than that 450 to 480 based on your set conditions so in this drawing i will show how we have to consider this is our plywood but here i mentioned one uh, one wrong thing this is not 450 here, 450 from center to center of the timber beam. So don't consider this one, please. This 450 is from this part to this part. Okay. So you know that this is 80 mm width. So it will be if you place in the center, it will be 40, 40. So total length will be 450 plus 40 plus 40. That only we consider as effective length. Then minus 18 because you have to do with the plywood. So approximately I am considering 500 mm better to choose least as possible for the higher safety so the new load will be i am distributing the the total load with the this portion so what i will do is 9.86 in the kilometer per meter square now i am dividing this mm into meters so my total load will be 4.9693 kilonewton per meter square for the next step design i will use this uh, loads okay uh, this Next same is a check for bending, check for shear, then check for the deflections. Same formula used, but this value will be differing. Now we are going for the timber beam. So this uh, bending moment value will be 5. If you see in the first, the bending moment value will be 
0.34 because it's plywood's bending moment now we are going for the uh, timber's bending moment so it is 5 so same you calculate you will get one length as 2.84 for shear force this value is 11 then you will get the value as 4.46 for deflection this value will get at 1.45 so comparing the minimum this one you have to give the spacing for that primary beam okay okay next we will go for the design of the primary beams first of all the we have to distribute the load as previously we did now this our new value is 1.41 i am multiplying the 4.93 where this 4.93 4.93 is nothing but this is a previous uh, distributed value so now we got the new value as 6.9 this value will take again as a w then this why this is again 5 means in the primary beam i am considering same timber beam as a primary beam so my values doesn't change so 5 11 and these values are won't change i will get the l value so first case is 2.4 second case is 3.18 but in third case it is 1.3 better to take 1.3 so the prop spacing will be 1.3 maximum for this condition so, okay i will show the drawing how it will look like in the top view okay if you consider this as a props uh, this uh, rectangle as a prop and this red portion rectangle i will consider as a primary beam okay so you can see this is important when when we are calculating the load on props how much load is coming on one prop so i will take the center one which is almost critical than this one so what i will do is i will divide this uh, influence area okay how we'll divide we know this total spacing how is 1.3 how came it came from here 1.3 the center to center spacing the two uh, props so i will divide it half so 650 650 here you know that this is nothing but a primary beam spacing which is 1.4 here you can see the primary beam is 1.4 so it is we can say 1.4 here so we here we are dividing it from 700 700 so influence area on the prop will be like this 650 650 into 700 plus 700 so this rectangle area we calculated so now you might ask which area we have to which load we have to put on this to get the proper loadings so this is nothing but the total load total load nothing but first what we calculated as the concrete load so 9.86 which is consisting consisting of dead load live load and the form of load so this if you multiply with the 1.2 you will get approximately 80 18 kilonewton on the each prop so on this value you can decide what is your prop capacity at the height if you per clear height is floor to floor height is 3 meter this prop opening is 2.4 then you have to check at 2.4 whether this load is sustainable by the prop or not okay so this is for the uh, horizontal formwork design please subscribe if you like share and subscribe if anything is there please mention comment box i will react to it thank you